Hello everybody and welcome to lesson two. And Pepper's here with me. In the last lesson we talked about four four crotchets and quavers. This lesson I'm calling what is this thing called six eight? You'll see this occasionally in the beginning of your music. Basically what it means is six as in how many, eight as in quavers or eighth notes. So each bar has six quavers. It'll look like this. Now using mathematics, you can see that we can count six quavers. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one bar. We can also count it in three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mathematically, we can also count it in two. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll notice the way that it feels. We're changing the way the music runs. The accents where we actually hit the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. They all have a different feel. It depends on the style of music you're playing and also the speed of the music. If you're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 you're going to get pretty tired if you're going to sit there counting six beats in the bar. That's quaver beats. So you would go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're only counting three. It's a lot simpler than one, two, three, four, five, six every time. But some music moves pretty fast and you'll want to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where we're literally splitting the bar in half like this. Okay. I hope that makes sense. We'll talk later about the difference between three, four, which you've probably already worked out, could be six, eight, because it's got three crotchets in a bar or six quavers in a bar. But it all comes down to feel. So we'll talk about that one later. Have a good day and enjoy your music.